Oscar-winning actor, director, activist Sean Penn and his co-director Aaron Kaufman. Holy cow. Are they have a special, special thing with superpower. Penn has been there since the beginning to make this documentary, okay? And when the war started, all right, he was there and he decided to make a film about the war. And it is phenomenal, okay? And you have to see this. I was with him twice. I actually was there shooting this footage. Go ahead. While the men of Ukraine, ages 18 to 60, were compelled to stay in country and get into the fight, women and children dominantly occupied these miles and miles of cars inching their way toward the Polish border. These heroic women set off to a different front line, and the heartbreak of husbands, fathers, brothers, sons, and businesses all left behind. They fled for their children's safety, many without any certain destination or support. Just three days earlier, they were you and me. So powerful about what's driving the people there. They sound so American. Sean Penn and I sat down to talk about this new film, Superpower. Sean Penn, a pleasure. Back at you. Proud as a journalist and as a friend. Uh, superpower is going to make a difference. You have been saying since the war started, we need to do more and we need to do it now. Um, the rate of help matters, not just money for human humanitarian aid, but the military piece. Yeah. Now that seems to be consensus that, yeah, the reason it's gotten so entrenched, the reason it's so hard to root out the Russians is because things were done in phases and maybe Ukraine. Do you still feel, not just the frustration that we should have done it sooner, but that it, there's still that urgency now, that there still isn't everything they need that might bring this to an end? I think that there still is that opportunity for America to give the support of its own aspiration uh, by giving them all that we will give them to keep American troops out of the European theater. We'll ultimately do that. And the, to the degree we delay, to the degree that we don't ramp up, if we're going to talk about stockpile depletion and so on, so we have to ramp up manufacturing if that's the case. But we've got to, we've got to arm freedom to defend itself. The one uh, common concern, I think, for the audience, this would be their question. Uh, we're poking the bear. Uh, this is their fight, and we've already done more than anybody else once again. We got bigger problems at home. Whatever threat exists today will only exist more every time we allow it to bully us or scare us away. And in this case, scare Ukrainians away, and they won't be scared away. They won't be scared away by that. And if, and if we are, we're letting it, we're going to let our kids down because whether it's Russia, China, these threats are going to have more leverage. I don't think that we want to be a slave uh, to somebody simply because the option is maybe they're going to use a nuclear weapon. A couple of things that are going to make this film uh, a special experience for people where you're involved. The first one is that you are not new Maybe to some of the audience, this will be new. But you are not new to disaster. You spent a lot of time in Haiti, which has some of the worst that humanity has to offer. Iraq, Afghanistan. Uh, everybody should remember what you went down into South America with El Chapo. Yet this hits you harder than I've seen with anything else. Why? What is it about this situation that has made you so invested personally? I think that there's a, a degree to which we become inured to that which we don't expect to feel. And when you get to Ukraine and you feel real unity, exactly what you were told you had, you realize what we've been missing. It's what I've been saying and feeling since the very beginning. And I think that was the most cathartic part of this. You know, we were talking before as a storyteller, I don't really know any other way that you could have done this than to other use yourself as a lens for the rest of us. Um, what does it mean when you watch now and you're looking at the cut and you're like, I can't believe we were there 
when it happened and that you have kept going back so that this is the only real chronology of the situation. There have been some films made, there's a lot of journalism on them, but not like this. What does that mean to you? That it's the kind of exposure you've never had to a situation, you couldn't have planned it. Look, I, to be, if I'm being honest, I'm still processing that. Uh, it, 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 is, it is surreal. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.